Go on. Say what you're going to say. Okay. Don't read it. Say it to my face. The great Roy Kent. You're old now. And slow. And your focus drifts. But your speed and your smarts were never what made you who you are. It's your anger. That's your superpower. That's what made you one of the best midfielders in the history of this league. But I haven't seen it on the pitch at all this season, Roy. I mean, you used to run like you were angry at the grass. And you'd kick the ball like you'd got it fucking your wife, Christ's sake. But that anger doesn't come out anymore when you play. But it's still in there. And I'm afraid of what it's going to do to you if you just keep it all for yourself. I just love it when a plan comes together. It's funny to see Nate in the earlier days a little unconfident in himself and Ted give him that little push to find his inner coaching beast that will one day come out with another team and make him an evil beast before he comes full circle and gets redeemed, coming back to Richmond being a strong beast. Yeah. One of my favorite takeaways from this scene is that in a professional locker room, in a professional setting, athletes can take criticism like this the right way and use it to motivate themselves, just like Roy Kent does in this scene. And although it's a really funny scene, and Nate really does come out of his shell a little bit in the scene, really kind of for the first time in the show, it shows that if you're willing to take that type of criticism, it can help you find something about yourself you need to work on. Now, of course, the key to taking criticism the right way is dropping ego. It's very easy for your mindset to just come back and go, no, 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 you don't know what you're talking about. I know myself, I know what I'm doing. And there are times that that might be correct, but for the most part in a locker room, when someone comes up to you and says, you need to do better at this, that's a gift. That's something you need to take in, maybe meditate on it for a minute, and then go rip off a bench and get out there and win the game. Maybe not, that's metaphorical, but in this case, that's what happened. Look, great coaches help athletes find things about themselves that maybe even they don't see. They inspire performance. They motivate their athletes to give the absolute best that they can. And the only way to do that is through complete and sometimes brutal honesty. When there's trust in a locker room, it makes this environment much easier to do this but you have to be honest with your players. You have to be honest with your people. You have to be honest and tell people, this is how we can move forward together. This scene, although funny, shows us exactly how to do this in a conducive way. It's gonna get the best possible performance out of an athlete. Now, Roy Kent is a consummate professional, and although he's a bit of a grouch, he understands that this criticism is exactly what he needed to ignite the flame of anger inside himself, to not only rip off a bench, but to lead his team to victory on this day in Liverpool. Remember, I believe in you. You should too.